Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today we got iCarsoft, a OBD2 scanner. Uh, the company is supposed to be based in Washington, D.C. It's manufactured in uh, China, obviously, like everything else. They make these little tools that uh, they have different versions. I bought mine from Walmart because I found a cheaper price, 140 I think I bought this one for uh, Mercedes-Benz. They make for other vehicles as well, for American cars, for European cars, for Asian cars. You can go to their site and choose what you want. Today, we're going to test how this works, how the quality is on it, and I'll give you a few insights and details about it, what I did to get around. Let's open the box first. Right here. It comes in a nice uh, little package, actually. I appreciate that. There's nothing else in the box. Uh, that's a really nice bag. I like that. Okay. Uh, let's open up. Uh, user's manual. It says it's for a BMW, Mercedes-Benz, Volkswagen, I think, Porsche, Volvo, Opel. Uh, just a few cars that you can choose. When you go to the site, you can choose it for your car. Uh, it's a lot of silica gels, looks like. They went not very cheap on silica. That's a good thing. Uh, this is the tool itself. It comes with uh, more silica. A USB to connect it to your uh, computer. Let's put it aside because I'm going to tell you in a moment why do we need that USB. Put the bag on the side. This is your uh, serial port to OBD2. I wish they gave a few more adapters for the price, you know, from OBD2 to OBD1 or something, but this is kind of specific, car-specific tool, so I'm not going to fault them for it. And uh, I'm not sure if you can see on camera, it says their multi-system car diagnostic tool, MB for Mercedes-Benz V2.0. And uh, it's it's a beautiful little uh, device, and uh, in this one, one thing I would uh, suggest that they did, not how I would like it, is the uh, micro SD card. It's right here on the bottom. That's where the USB cable goes. That's a micro SD card, and that's the serial port. At the micro SD card part. I upgraded mine. I went to a four gigabyte uh, SanDisk micro SD card, but what it comes with is a little bit embarrassing for 2022 though. You can't even do the update with it. A 512 megabyte cheapo SD card. Uh, come on guys, at iCarsoft, at least put a one gigabyte. Put a one gigabyte. It's not gonna really cost you that much more. So what I did to get around that, to upgrade the uh, SD card inside this device, first of all, create a folder, let's say on your desktop, and uh, you just put iCar. I'm not going to really bother too much with it. You open the folder, and uh, you go to your iCar soft, it will, you will see it uh, here. That's the card that's inside, and uh, even when you buy the 512 megabyte one, Inside, it will open a small card here. It will say 512 instead of 4 gigs like mine. You select everything in it, and you drag and drop to your folder. So you're copying everything. After the data has been transferred to that folder, we close this one here. And uh, we insert a card that we want to upgrade to. I'm going to insert a one gigabyte uh, card. Go to our PC. And this is the card we want to prepare for our iCar soft device. Right click on it. Go to format. At the format, it has to be a FAT file system. Not FAT32, not XFAT, not NTFS. FAT. And uh, FAT, unfortunately, doesn't work in cards over 8 gigabytes. 
where you don't really need anything over four gigabytes. So click fat. You put the volume label, doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna put it our iCar soft. You click start, you click OK, and uh, you click yes. After it's uh, done, you close it. At this card, now the files we transferred from the original card, we take them out and transfer them to this card that we just formatted now. And after that uh, is done, you eject the card that we just did. This is the card that we are working with right now. Just to make sure, let's click. Yes, it's the it's the one gigabyte card we uh, ejected. Try again. Okay, continue. And you take that small card and put it in your iCarsoft device. After you insert this in the iCarsoft device and you take the original 512 megabyte and just save it on the side to have those files and the file system. Uh, you insert this in and then you go ahead. Let me show you right now. I already did mine and uh, I'll show you how to update it right here. Let's plug it in and let's plug it to the computer. And uh, when you plug it to the computer, it starts with a screen here and... Uh, let me show you the screen right now on the computer here. You go to their website, icarsoft.com, and you look for uh, your uh, tool. MBV 2.0 is mine, and you go to Mercedes-Benz or Sprinter or Smart, which are the same company, and you go MBV2, icarsoft MBV1, uh, icarsoft MBV2, this is mine. This one here, I'm not gonna re-download it because I already have it. When you download it and install it, you'll get this app right here. iCarsoft, MSD, MS Diagnostics, whatever you call PC client. And you choose which one is your card. It should be letter age. I already put the serial number on it. You choose English. You click upgrade here. And it will go to this here, as you see on mine, I already upgraded it, so I am on the latest versions on mine, but it wasn't a lower version when I did it, so you choose what is the latest versions, and you go ahead, and you click download, and it starts installing. But with the original 512 megabyte card, this will not happen. And uh, after you ins uh, plug it in and all that. It might ask you for the serial number, UID number, and all that. After all is said and done, and you're upgraded, you're ready to go to your car and use it.